Hey everyone, thank you for um, tuning in to my video today. Today I'm going to talk about my long-term storage. So I did a video before on my mail storage, which is kind of like whenever I'm receiving something, I'll file it temporarily until I decide I'm going to keep it long-term. So I have this file cabinet here in my closet, and it's just a two-drawer unit. And this is where I keep things I'm going to need for longer term. Now, I was using um, these accordion style folders to kind of keep every category together. And it just wasn't working. I would have to take a whole folder to find something, dig through it. So what I've resorted to, I've changed to, which I really like, are hanging file folders. So these are great because you can pick exactly what you want in them, label them, you can fit a thousand of them in here as long as you're keeping it organized. I know there's certain different categories for filing, so I'm just going to show you the way that I do it, what works for me, and um, let's take a look. Okay. So how I keep my things organized is going to actually be alphabetical. That's just work, what works for me as far as the categories that I have, so that's what I'm going to show you today. So in the top Folder, the top cabinet I have A through M and in the bottom I have N through what would, would have been Z but I have no Z section <laughs> so let's take a look at the top section okay so as you can see it is pretty full um, I didn't do fancy labels or anything I just kind of wrote it down my handwriting with the tabs that come with it um, so again it's just kind of like the first section I have covered up because it's personal information but I have my auto section here uh, my last most recent job that I was at, I keep cards on hand for like birthdays and weddings and get well soon. Um, so if something happens, you need to grab a card, you don't have to run to the store. So I just keep those kind of piled up. I have my um, credit card information, my current tax year, um, dog training information, employment <laughs> for my printer. <laughs> I have my manual for my printer separate, uh, health insurance, job search stuff for like resumes, letters of uh, reference, my jury duty thing. They told us to keep that for three years. I was like, well, let me make sure I can find it if I need it. My makeup artist certification, manuals for different items in the house, medical bills, medical records, miscellaneous, and then my monthly spending, which is what I keep all my receipts in. So at the end of the month, I can kind of go through and figure out what I've spent versus what I've made. And then in the back, I just have some um, extra folders. All right, so that was the first section. So we're going to take a look in the second section. All right, so now we're going to move into the second cabinet. In the second cabinet, um, it's just, again, it's going to be alphabetized. The section is going to be in through V. I think I stopped at V. <laughs> so let's take a look. So here in the front, I just have these two um, sections blocked out because that's my the two banks that I have. Then I keep my old pay stubs. I, keep, I think I supposed to keep those for like seven years. I have old school projects dating back to like elementary school. Packing list. And then my past taxes. So you're supposed to keep those for seven years too. So they're just from 2007 back. So I can probably get rid of 2007. Planner supplies that I don't use as often. Postage, stamps and things like that. School records. These are like my transcripts. Uh, my social security information, my student loan, promissory records and all that. And then last is my voter registration card. And again, I have extra file cabinet folders. Um, so, yeah, so that's what is what works for me. I really do prefer the hanging file systems over those accordion files, which is what I had in before. Again, I would have to take the whole accordion file folder out, look for it, because there's not enough sections in those to really split things up. The way I needed and it's really easy for me to find things because it's alphabetized so I'm um, hopefully that was helpful to you guys if you have a different way of storing things long term certainly um, share your video as well and comment below thank you for watching mm -hmm.